Hello, welcome to Technology Guide. So, how do you get to technology? Click on your flag, go on the technology tab here, and then you can see that technology is split into eight different separate sections. So, start with the first one, infantry. Infantry splits into two with one going for infantry mobility and one going for infantry attack and defense. But well, first of all, it starts with attack and then it goes with defense. And then, at off the attack, they split off for anti-tank. Meaning that you first have to get this technology over here to go and get this technology here of anti-tank. When is this useful? So, this is useful for if you're having mostly in late game when a lot of when tanks are not that useful and, and infantry and you need to make your infantry strong or you're playing against someone who has a lot of tanks guess what you can use that anti-tank against them or you need to use or you need a lot of movement for your troops so you can maneuver around people then next one is tank tank improvements split off to three armor firepower and mobility you can understand by the name which one goes for which but uh, when you want to pick this, it's just mostly when you have a tank build, like your early game. This is most early, game, like you know, because you're fighting with tanks, and maybe you're in a war, and you really need to improve your tanks against a person. Then we have naval improvements. Naval improvement actually splits off to five different sections. So one is for mobility, one is for missiles, one is for guns, one is for torpedoes, and one is for Naval protection, uh, protections. Now for missiles, guns, and torp uh, torpedoes, each of them going, uh, each of them going for a certain type. So you see that this torpedoes go for submarines, uh, naval guns go go for battleships, and naval missiles go for aircraft carriers. But if you're this naval missiles, it's probably for late game. You want to be going for naval missiles late game. But naval guns, I think that's what you want to be doing early game if you want to do have the have the um, the destroyer battleship combo. But you can also add after you do this naval guns, you, you should also add the submarines and then the naval missiles, so you can have the destroyer battleship and the submarine together. After that, we have support. So that's artillery. So. Support also branches off into three range firepower and mobility So range is how long the The more that you research into the range So I go one two three uh, let's, let's say this one. I'm gonna have a higher my artillery is gonna be hitting people Farther away than if I chose this one Then firepower is the amount of damage inflicted the higher I go the more damage mobility the faster it is when you're in early game, I think the best thing for you is going range and then firepower. But based on your situation, you can also go mobility. If you're a, maybe let's say, a small country where you're having like a very close tight front line, you should go with firepower because all the troops are connected to each other. But mostly I'd say put range because that means you can protect your artillery far away so you don't need that mobility for your artillery to run away then the big one economic economic first splits off to three your factory output tax collection and your equipment your resource output from resource output it also splits off to refined fuel this is mostly just for early game but I would not suggest it for late game you don't need uh, fuel efficiency okay Maybe for your ships, but I don't. You, you can already create mines, so I, I don't really know. And you can just get these resources out. Bonuses. Then for tax collection, it splits off to government waste. Government waste. So how much spending your government uh, does, so you decrease it, so you're saving a little bit of money. Then we have. Yeah, if you continue from the resource output, you go and reach building cost. So building cost lowers the amount for your buildings. Then we have to put factory output. Uh, so factory output with 25% speed, it'll 
branch off to two more which tell me building speed and military cost so it means that uh, if you want to make a tank it's going to be 10% uh, less then you have aerial so aerial improvement spits off the five branches just like naval and I think the best one for now is actually uh, aerial missiles to start because fighters are the key fighters are key to the battle and, that, and that's true <laughs> uh, but big time situation if no one has if they if it doesn't if, if your opponent does not have any fighters does not have any planes doesn't even have a aircraft manufacturer go with aerial guns and if you want to go for far distances you know which one to get this one bottom then we have research research is one of the most important ones for now not in early game if you can fill this up quickly you can go you can go blazing through all the uh Researchers like infantry and stuff. Then, but above it, you have nuclear. So I first test the theory, and then you can make um, uranium enrichers. Then you can make the, the nuke or the and the spot. The nuke. <laughs> then we have political. Political spits off three branches. So. Let's start with the bottom. This one, the integration speed goes. Oh, this one's split. Damn. <laughs> oops, 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 oops. So, the other branch that's pissed off too is stability. And that one also, uh, and that one branches off to resistance. Then, it also branches off to political power gain. I think this one is very good. This one's very good. Because it makes you get more policies. Then it's not. It's not like it might be like for an integration. I like based on your situation. If you're invading a lot of countries and stuff, you can beat them all. But then political power gain also uh, branches off to unrest reduction. And then if you connect the stability and the political power gain. You have the ideology improvement, which is OP, man. Let's say I'm socialism. That means for 5% more, I'm getting 5% more manpower. 5% 5 more justification time. See? I'll get, I, I'll get buffs to my buff. <laughs> Literally. Uh, okay. That's it, guys. Sub. Oh, and uh, here's where you get the research power. Oops, I forgot. Well, here's where you get the research power, and if you hover over it, it tells you a text, and tells you how much, and it shows uh, how much research power needs to enact it, and then the base stability, how much.